All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is show you how to solve for the X centroid location of a complex centroid or a complex shape. So, um, first it says, what is the X centroid location? So that's what I want to solve for uh, using the reference X and Y axis here and here. The rectangle horizontal dimension is 18 inches, so that's this one. And uh, the rectangle's vertical is 11 inches. So that's that one. The triangle has the same vertical dimension, which is 11 inches, and a horizontal dimension of 19 inches. All right. So to solve for this, the x bar will be equal to the sum of the xi times a's divided by the sum of the areas. What is the sum of the xi a's? It means the centroid and the x times the area of that shape. So I have shape 1 and shape 2. So x1, x2 times the areas of them. So first let's look at the areas, and the area of the rectangle is going to be 11 times 18, which we all know, 11 times 18. All right, so 11 times 18 is 198. What? So our area is 198 inches squared. And the area of the triangle uh, is 1 half base times the height. So, uh, 11 times 19, 11, 11 times 19, uh, and then divide by 2. It's nice, no commercial this time, 104.5, and that's inches squared. So, now that I know the areas, I want to know the x locations, and we'll do that in red. Uh, for a rectangle, and you'll notice its uh, x is uh, on the uh, x-axis directly or uh, tied to the y-axis. So I can just simply divide by 2, and I know that its x location is at 9 inches. For a triangle, we divide by 3, but you'll notice that's from the right angle, which is actually 18 inches over. So whatever I get for the x-bar here, it's going to be equal to 18 inches plus... 19 divided by 3, which is 6.3 repeating, right? So a uh, total of 24.3 repeating. So now it says the x times the a's, so the sum of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 9 times 198 plus uh, 24.3 repeating times 104.5 and then I'm going to divide by 198 the sum of the areas plus 104.5 so let's go ahead and put that in the calculator and see what we end up with and that will be my x bar location for this complex centroid be careful make sure you add that 18 inches because it's 18 inches over and obviously this isn't drawn to scale so, 9 times 198 and 24.3 times 104.5. 9 times, uh, one, uh, what did I say? Uh, 198, oops, 9, let's clear it. 9 times 198, enter, plus, parentheses, we said uh, 104.5 times uh, 24.3. Looks like I got a couple extra points in there. Uh, delete, delete, uh, delete. And we'll close parentheses, enter, and then we're going to divide that answer by 104.5. Plus 198, the sum of the areas. So that gives me 14.297 if I round it. And let's just check to make sure. 14.297 inches makes sense. So 18 inches and 14, we put it past 9 by about 5. So that's the influence of the triangle is about that far. That is our answer, as always. Punch that like button, uh, subscribe, ring the bell, 
And if you got questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.